Now that we have the About page in its own section, we have the About page, and we also have the About Users page. It kind of makes sense that this About Users page is a child route of the About section. Let's reimagine our routes so that this is a child route of the About section. We'll open up About Routing, and we'll start a new section up here. We'll have Path is About. Instead of having a component here where we define it for About, we can have a path that has no component. We can define children and then pass an array of the paths here. Since this is a child route, we don't need to do about forward slash username. We can just delete this about part altogether. And we'll pass in the component and delete these routes here. Now we have child routes for this about section. One really important thing to note is that whenever we declare children, we always have to have a path that has a blank in it. And this is going to match about forward slash nothing. So this is the about route. Let's take a look. About page and about child page is going to act the exact same way. How is this helpful for our current application? Well, right now, it doesn't really help too much since we have very simple components in child routes under this about page. But once we have multiple different child routes, it's easy to maneuver around them because now we can add a component at this level and we'll do about section component. And let's go define that. We'll do an import for about section component from about section dot component and we'll create that now the cool thing we can do here is we just need to pass in a router outlet and this will be a child router outlet, which is different than the one that over encompasses our entire app, which is done in the app component. And we'll export class about section component. Let's give this a little bit more styling. We'll do h2 tag and we'll do about section. And let's align that in the center. We have a new component. We need to register this in the about module. Now, if we go back to our about routing, we have an over encompassing component with its own router outlet and these about component and about user component will get output into this router outlet instead of the one found in the app component here under app component.html. Let's take a look at our application to make sure everything's working. Now we can see that about section, which encompasses our about section, has the header. And if we click here, we keep the outside part of our about section and the inside, which is the router outlet here, gets switched out. So the Angular 2 router makes it easy for us to switch out different router outlets and keep nesting things so that we can have child routes and child outlets.